Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This video is gonna be part of the series how to fill a sketchbook page and today we're gonna do a self-portrait. I think doing a self-portrait is a great idea to start a sketchbook because you can capture your style at that period and how you looked and it would be nice to do another self-portrait when you finish the sketchbook so you can see the difference not only in your style but in your appearance too. This self-portrait is in the middle of my sketchbook, but it doesn't matter. I just picked a random picture of me and I like the mask I was wearing in this photo. I just wanted to see how I would recreate the color of the mask and how it would look because I haven't, I hadn't drawn this before. So that's why I picked this picture. And I'm just starting with the sketch. This sketch took me a long time to figure out how it looked like me. It kind of looked like me, but not quite, so I spent a lot of time on the sketch, so uh, it's really sped up here, and I've cut some parts because I thought it would be boring to see all of the raising parts and stuff, so that's why I cut many parts of it. I have drawn myself many times, but I mostly do weird expressions or goofy faces, I never do like me standing pretty and cute like that because I just use myself as a, uh, as a reference when I want to try something different. I don't want to just draw myself, I just use it as a reference. But I haven't tried to just draw me standing there like my regular face in a while, so I wanted to do that again. And I really enjoy drawing myself. It's because I know my face, I see it every day and I I can understand how my features look. So it's easier for me to draw it, even though I, I found it kind of hard this time. I was thinking at first to go with my regular process, like first sketching with a coloring pencil, but I decided last minute to switch to a, a graphite pencil and I'm really glad I did that because as you can see I erased quite a lot and I don't think I would uh, I would have managed to do that with a coloring pencil so I used a graphite pencil and I just went over it uh, with um, with a needle eraser in the end and I erased uh, most of it you won't be able to see it really good in the camera, but I was able to see it still. I usually use um, color pencils because even if it shows under the markers, it doesn't bother me. I think it adds a bit of a color and it looks nice, but with a um, graphite pencil, if it shows, it makes the colors look a little bit muddy. So that's why I tried to erase it um, very much, so it won't so so much in the end. I didn't mind uh, the graphite sewing in the eyes or something, but because I wanted some definition there. But in some other places, I prefer if the graphite is completely erased. As I said before, I've cut some footage from the sketching part, but if you would like to see um, longer videos or slower ones because this is really sped up if you'd like to see more of my process or slower or all the parts I mean not cut the process you can comment it below because I don't know what you prefer I think it would be boring to leave everything on the video and to have it slower because it takes me like two and a half hours or more to do these portraits with the markers. It's a long process, so I don't think anyone is gonna watch it if it's like one hour long or even half an hour. I'm trying to make it like about 20 minutes and I still think it's quite a long video. And I realize that not everyone is gonna watch it the whole way through. <laughs> this time I didn't only use my of hook markers, I use my Kuritaki ones and the My Pro markers from Winter Newton. Because 
even though I love my boo-boos and most of my pro markers are so dry, I think I like the colors that I have with my pro markers because the hoo-hoo, the hoo-hoo colors are a bit dark sometimes or very much saturated and I like some desaturated tones for subtle hues and lighter ones because you can start lighter and then move to the darker tones so I used some colors that I had even though like the green I used for the mask is very dry and I think it shows a bit I tried to layer it with other colors that weren't so dry or make it look like it's the texture of the mask so I can hide how dry the marker was I think it looks okay by the end um, right now I think it looks very patchy because it was the markers didn't have much ink in them so I go over the same spot a lot of times and with different colors to hide the fact that they were dry by the way I know that the lighting is kind of bad in this video but I hope uh, from the next one it's gonna be a lot better because I just bought a new ring light and I think it's gonna help the lighting <laughs> very much because right now I just have a lamp that it's not even it's really warm and it looks kind of bad I I think it's gonna be improved in the next video <laughs> at least I hope it will um, the coloring of this one, it was kind of easy because most of the face is green, <laughs> it's a mask. It doesn't have many hues like the skin has, it's just green and a little bit of purple and a little bit of grey. The neck area was kind of hard because it was a weird shadow. And a little bit the eyes, but I think it was a very easy portrait to do, <laughs> if you exclude the um, sketching part. <laughs> But yeah, I had fun doing this one and I'm really glad I bought these hoof markers because I was skeptical at first uh, but now I'm very glad I bought them because I use them all the time and even when I'm just sketching in my messy sketchbook because I have two sketchbooks, this one the bigger one where I just do more finished pieces and I don't really use it that much um, in the last few weeks I used my messy one more because I feel more comfortable drawing in the other one it's a smaller one and I I don't mind being a bit messy with this one that's why I have it <laughs> for example in this one I don't like drawing with markers every in every page because I'm afraid I will ruin a piece that is on the other page or something but in my messy sketchbook I just do whatever, I use whatever material I feel like using at the time and I really I really recommend having a messy sketchbook. I'm not even that messy, I just feel more comfortable in this one, in the messy one because that's what I call it. I have many pieces that I like in the other sketchbook too and I have neglected this one a bit and I use it more for portraits or for the figure drawings that I did in the previous video too and because I wanted to have the 100 figure drawing challenge all in one place like when you turn the pages to be all together I didn't use it much because I haven't finished the challenge yet and I don't know how many pages it will take me so right now for example I'm sketching in um, I'm drawing in the last pages of the sketchbook even though I'm not even in the middle I think so the challenge will be all in one place <laughs> So that's why I've been sketching in my other sketchbook a lot lately and I really enjoy it being more free and done, not being afraid of messing the sketchbook up because that's why I have it, it's a messy sketchbook. And I was talking about my hoop markers but then I got carried away with my messy sketchbook. I wanted to say that I really like how juicy they are and how vibrant. And I really like using the um, orange colors, the more warm colors. And 
for example I use it in my hair I don't have orange hair or eyes because my eyes in the portrait are orange too with a little bit of brown but I like how vibrant it makes it look it looks so warm the brown looks very warm if you put the orange below it and I really like the markers in general I found them very useful and I don't mind that they don't have a brass nib I really like the chisel nib for my drawings I think I've said that before but it really helps me I know a lot of artists prefer the brass nibs for the blending but I think I prefer the chisel nib I don't say that I would mind if it had a brass nib but I, I really don't mind the chisel nib and I think it helps me lots of times By the way, if any of you try to do a self-portrait because you saw my video and got inspired or something and you upload it on Instagram, please tag me so I can see it. I would really love to see what you create. It doesn't have to be with markers, of course, you can do it with pencil or whatever medium you prefer. And I would really love to see what you do. Here is the finished drawing. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like it and subscribe to my channel and I hope I'll see you in the next one, bye!